A convective storm is a storm powered by the tendency of warm air to rise. This includes both showers and thunderstorms, which are basically the same except for their electrical charge. This diagram shows the wind pattern within a rain shower. Warm, humid air near the ground rises and cools, causing water vapor to condense, forming a cloud. Condensation releases heat, limiting the rate at which the air cools and allowing it to continue rising, producing an updraft, which is visible as a tall, cauliflower-like cloud. Toward the top of the updraft, cloud droplets merge to form raindrops. In this case, upper-level winds are blowing from left to right, causing the rain to fall to the left of the updraft giving this area a fuzzy, gray appearance. Rain cools air, causing it to sink, in addition to physically dragging the air down with it as it falls. This causes a downdraft of cool air that spreads out at the ground and is responsible for the cool wind that often accompanies thunderstorms and rain showers. Here's a closer look at the bottom of a storm. Note the flat base of the updraft cloud. This occurs because water vapor in the rising air suddenly begins to condense once it has risen to a certain height. The fuzzy gray area of rain just to the left of the updraft is the downdraft. Notice how the rain spreads out at the ground. This is due to the downdraft wind hitting the ground and spreading sideways, blowing the rain sideways with it. The dark, flat cloud is the bottom of the updraft, where warm, humid air rises into the storm. Heavy rain can be seen descending on the left, along with cold air. Here is another updraft base. A few streaks of rain can be seen toward the bottom right, but the downdraft is only beginning to form. This storm was rapidly intensifying when the picture was taken and would go on to produce a lot of lightning and even some hail. Depending on temperature and wind patterns at various levels of the atmosphere, storms can do a lot of different things. Some things that I have not shown here that can happen with storms are the downdraft may fall back down through the updraft rather than to the side of it. This cools off the updraft and leads to a storm that is all downdraft. With no updraft to feed moisture into the storm, the storm will rain itself out. Outflow may flow under the updraft base causing the updraft to suck in cool air and die, and again the storm will rain itself out without an updraft. Sometimes outflow can flow under the updraft without getting sucked into the updraft, and it just pushes more warm air up into the updraft and pushes the updraft forward. This can result in a fast-moving storm with strong winds. Outflow can flow under an updraft, but the updraft may sustain itself by taking in warm air from above the outflow layer. And some downdrafts do not appear as a fuzzy gray area of rain, but are a ragged hole in the cloud, where sinking air leads to the cloud evaporating. 